Hi, this is Tim, and today we're going to talk about what happens to your three major output bits during a power up, that being the OTE, the OTL, and the OTU. So if you're coming here from our previous video where we talked about how to start stop motors, I left you here with the blue light on, but the green through the red light being off. And that mainly coming from cycling power in our four different rungs. So a quick review of our rungs. We had rung zero, which is our basic start stop ceiling with a normally closed stop button. That turned on our green light. The same ceiling instruction, but with a normally open stop button. That is on our yellow light. Our red light was a similar ceiling using the normally closed stop button. If you want to know the details of this, go back to the previous video where we're talking about these start stops. But then the final one was a latch unlatch start stop button. So when I turned the power off and I turned it back on, the blue light was on. So we're going to do that again just so you see. I hit the start button, all of them turned on. I hit the stop button, all of them turned off. So now I will turn them all on again, and I'm going to cycle power. We'll wait a few minutes, seconds for the PLC to come back online. And only the blue light came back on. So why is that? And I hear lots of explanations for this. You know, it's like that it's, well, those stop buttons are wired to normally open contacts. And there's a split second where the PLC is online, but there's not power yet. Or during power off, there's a split second. I hear all types of things. But our answer is right in the RS Logics instruction set. So if we just go to Google and we do a search for MicroLogix reference, there you go, MicroLogix 1100 reference manual. And now let's do a search for OTE. And well, we got notes, so we got a couple of notes, but if we just keep hitting down through here, there we go. Output Energize, page 161. This goes through how the OTE works. But right here at the end of this definition, we have this statement here where the OTE instructions are reset or turned off or it writes a zero to them when you enter or return to the program or remote program mode or power is restored. So when this PLC power was restored, it actually runs a pre-scan of the entire program. Now guys, you need to understand this one because the pre-scan includes all programs, whether they are normally executed or not. We're going to modify this program in a second just to show you. But so it goes through and it scans all of them and it says, ah, OTE, go write a zero. OTE, go write a zero. OTU, what does it do? Well, if we just scroll right down here, to our OTL, OTU output lat. You can see it does not have anywhere in it about this power cycle. In fact, it has this statement, which I wish they would just clear up a little bit, that says, in the event of a power loss, any OTL control bit, including field devices, energizes with the return of power if the OTL was set before a power loss. In other words, the pre-scan does not affect an OTL or an OTU instruction. And that is why our blue light stayed on when we cycled power. A couple of things about this is first, is this a dangerous situation? Again, it is super dependent on your program. There are times that it is critical that you use an OTL. There are times that it is critical that you use an OTE. So let's say that you know, we, we had a power failure and there's, you know, we're in a plant with a bunch of pumps and a bunch of mechanical things moving around, then this OTL is probably a dangerous situation because whenever the power comes back on, all the machines are going to start back up. Let's take the Fukushima nuclear reactor where you had the meltdown. In that case, you want these pumps, those cooling pumps to be back on 
the instant the power comes back on. So again, neither situation is safe or unsafe, but you need to make sure you know how these function on power ups, so you know which one you should use for your application. But there is one more thing that I just want to show just a little closer. We're gonna go back to this program. I'm gonna create a new routine not even going to worry about naming it. And then I'm going to go down here and okay, so we found out that this latch on latch is critical for our application. So, but we're going to say that at one time we had this code. So I'm going to shove it over here in this abandoned program. And I'm going to make this the blue light, but I'm not going to call this program. So our functional program is the exact same program that we have had. And I've seen this many times. So you'll have a program, you, maybe you have a complete set of code that is just for simulation or, or you revise your program. And so you just comment out calling a subroutine. And you're like, well, that's all abandoned. Well, now the program works exactly the same. You can see start, stop. Again, this abandoned routine here is not even being scanned. There's nothing to call it. But now we're gonna cycle power again. See the power's off. We'll plug back on and we don't have a light coming on. So we'll go back online here. You can see our blue light is out. So why is our blue light out? Because the pre-scan that they're talking about in that instruction set over here where they said the OTE instructions are reset, turned off when you enter or return the program or remote program mode or the power is restored. They never said in there that a program is called. So what do I see when I go out into a plant? They'll have a machine that runs great. And they'll tell you, man, this thing runs great, but never turn the power off to it because you can't get it started back up. And you go in there and all of a sudden you'll see where they have this abandoned code in there. It never says anywhere in it that the program is called. It's just if an OTE is present. So if there is an OTE, whether it's being called or not, it is going to write a zero to that data table box. Hope this video has been helpful. Hope you understand a little bit more about how PowerUp works with both the OTE instruction and the OTL, OTU latch instruction. There are good applications for both, so let's not say that one's bad, one's good. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.